Good evening, and welcome to another one of my Quranic studies. However, today we're going to do things just a little bit differently. I'm not going to be reading any verses out, out of the Quran, so we won't be needing this for today. What I want to talk to you about today is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Or in Arabic, as we say, Al Rasul Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, let me first dissect this, uh, <coughs> this saying in Arabic. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu means God prayed. So Sallallahu Alaihi means God prayed upon him. Now, here's the thing to keep in mind. If Allah prayed upon Muhammad, who did he pray to? Did he pray to his daddy? Did he pray to, did he pray to Jesus? Did he pray to one of the Olympian gods, like Zeus? Alright, so, so far we don't know who God prayed to, but we do know that he prayed upon Muhammad. And that's how Muhammad got his blessing from Allah. Alright. Now, I've, you know, I've discussed this with a few Muslims and here's what they tell me. They say, oh, well, that's not really what they mean. They actually mean, you know, God blessed him and not prayed upon him. Well, <clears throat> using my Arabic dictionary, Arabic English dictionary, I will read to you what Salah means in English. It can mean to pray, say a prayer, or worship. It has nothing to do with blessing. And, and just by the way, to bless someone is baraka. It has nothing to do with salah. Um, and, and, and also, I think it is extremely, extremely not good for any devout Muslim to try to change these wordings and try to change their meanings because, as you know, every single word within the Quran is God sent. God said every one of these words. No human has ever changed them, no human is, and no human ever will be able to change them. These are the words of God. They are engraved in stone and they cannot be changed. Alright, now I want to go and compare Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the English part, which is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Um, all right, peace be upon him, God prayed upon him. For some reason, they are completely dissimilar. They're completely dichotomous. Maybe, maybe the Arabs finally realized, hey, they're going to catch up to our crap. So let's go ahead and change the words around so whenever we can get more converts, they can actually realize that our God is not praying to another God or to another higher deity in order to to assert Muhammad as his main prophet. That's all I have for today, and if somebody has any questions, comments, c concerns, please bring them my way. Uh, make a note, make a comment, send me an email, send me some more hate mail. Oh, by the way, I love your threat mail. It, it, it just brings a smile to my face every single day. So, I just want to say good night, and good